Hi everyone, welcome back. This is part six of Until Dawn. I'm Mandy, aka Manjobug the Gamer. And what was I up to? Huh, I don't remember being at this part. I thought I was in the cabin already. So it didn't uh, save. What is that? Oh no, Not we sure gotta see know. this again, guys. <laughs> Oh no, we gotta see the deer. I'm so sorry. I hate this. And it's making me see it again. Damn. It's horrible. Oh. I don't think he's gonna make it. We're gonna comfort the deer. Hey, boss. Again. Hey, buddy. God, the poor thing. I'm so it's sorry okay. you guys have to see this again. It's okay. Mike, it's in so much pain. It'll be over soon. It's okay, like buddy. one of the worst parts of the game, soon. just seeing this. Ah! Ah! Well, maybe I'll make the right choice this time. Oh my please. god, what the hell was that? I don't know. Oh, there's a brain. Over here, over here. Mike, get over here. Oh. I almost missed that. It's a bear. It's gotta be a bear. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Stay on the path. We're almost there. I did better that time than I did last time, actually. Oh, and I would fall. That would be me. Don't just again. Even though she's not going to appreciate it. Oh, I am! <sighs> Mike! Get the key! Get it open! <gasps> Pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay. Well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. Urgh. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised. Let's see what the butterfly effect was. I guess it's this one. Uh, I think I looked at that last time. Mr. Mike. Yes. Yeah, I'm her hero, y'all. Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael. I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper, proper romantic, romantic setting. setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle, cuddle up, up with, with her, her man, man by a nice, nice cozy, cozy fire, fire bathed, bathed in atmospheric, atmospheric moonlight. Moon lighting. Right. It, it'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Mike. Fire. Fire. And mood, and mood lighting. lighting. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just acting out just as too. All right. So the key to this, to get maximum effort out of Jess here, is to immediately do what she wants. Ah, this will take care of the mood lighting. And get the fire going immediately. Now normally I go around and look through the cabin right. and everything. Logs are ready to go. Just need a match. And it annoys Jessica when you don't immediately do anything for her. Shit. Fuck. Mike! What? Oh, crap! What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone! It is gone, okay? Just slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. You can't find it? Crap! No! I must have dropped it outside. 
I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay, okay. Well, I'll have to look for it. It's got to be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. She lost her phone. Looky, looky. Who's going to fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? That was very, very lame, my friend. Like, nobody's gonna say that. Man one, <laughs> fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. All right, my lady. What comes next? I think... Well, I, I wish we had some booze. Uh, well, uh, if I'd have known that ahead of time. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm not feeling it yet. Reassure or seduce? Mike looks really confused right now. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I think that reassuring her might get us farther along, so... Reassure. Am I doing something wrong? No, 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 no. I mean... I thought you were one way, but you're... kind of another way. Does if that make sense? It's, it's not your fault. Uh, Jess? I really like you. Whoever you think I am... Well... Just give me a chance. I will show you what you need. Well, I am liking your confidence. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, close them, please? <laughs> There's just no one out there. I feel like someone's watching us. I don't like it. Yes, really. It's fine. <laughs> I really don't like it. Okay, shudder it is. There is something watching. She's remarkably perceptive. I have shut the shutters. Voila. Shutters are shutted. Basically what I just said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to like keep this up. And what? Keep keep what? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest. I'm really kind of insecure. Reassuring or dismissive? <laughs> wow, fifteen percent. We're just like. Whatever. <laughs> We're gonna go reassuring. Jess. You've gotta be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh. <laughs> you have no idea. Sure I do. You're just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. But you know how to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Yes, I do. Yeah, and that's super fucking hot. Really? Yeah, hell yeah it is. Come here. Maybe I know how to handle you too. I am definitely ready to be handled. bear is watching us and it's creeping me out. But it's not there. Spoiler. Oh. What? 
What? what? I still didn't get her down to her underwear. What is that? What did I do wrong? Okay, go find out now, please. I was really trying. <laughs> is that messed up that I was really trying to get Jessica down to her underwear? <laughs> there. What did I do wrong? Seriously, I thought I did everything right for her, but apparently I missed something. Damn it. Not a big deal, I suppose. I hope that I can... There's clues... ...that I cannot get now, apparently. Shit. Because I was too busy trying to make... Jessica comfortable. Oh, that sucks. Since I probably really needed that clue. It's just fun. With the pie copyrighted. It's music. your phone! What? How is it my phone? I don't know, it just came through the window. Because that's what oh, they do, right? Fuck! Thank God damn it! What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. <sighs> Ooh, Jess is pissed. Hey! Yeah, bricks! That means you! I know you're out there! The fuck are you trying to do? You want to ruin our fun that bad? <sighs> well, guess what? You can't! You can't ruin our good time! Because Michael and I are gonna fuck! That's right! We are going to have sex! And it's gonna be hot! So enjoy it! Because I know we're going to... It just totally leaves you Do with you that. Do you really think the girls were <laughs> communicating with us? I don't know. I don't know if I wish they were or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. So, now I'm Ashley. And really, really wishing I had done the previous segment differently. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? I mean, it's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far. <sighs> Damn it. Doors are always locked in this fucking lodge. I've already screwed up, though, I think. I think I missed an important clue in the cabin with Mike. Oh well. I said that I was gonna keep going, so. We're gonna keep going. Ah! Holy crap! Are you okay? I think so. Look! What? There was something behind the books. What well, he that? made it really easy on us. Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. <laughs> Always push the button. But first, let's walk around and look at stuff that you're not supposed to be doing, apparently. Okay, fine. Chris won't push the button, so I will. Slowly and deliberately push the button. That explodes! Are we like in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's around, Cam. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house. I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, no we no, just no, opened no, no. that. You We're go. not going to take a look. Gee, thanks. Oh, well. Now Chris has the candle. So Chris is taking the lead. Ooh, trippy. Trippy look. Trippy look at this. Got something. Picture. 
picture of Hannah and Beth. What? Whoa, is this? I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Fucking 16 years. 16 years I waited for pretty Hannah and Beth. Well, that's disturbing. Yeah, we're gonna be honest. Now, now Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What, Chris? What is that? I. It's a picture. I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's I don't uh, know a if threat. That's a letter, Chris. This is serious. We need to find Josh right now. Is that it? I guess so. Yeah, I'm really thinking I missed two clues. <sighs> I really needed all these clues in the twin storyline. to get the best ending. But, no one my luck. Uh, somebody else is gonna die, end up dying anyway. Ooh, doors are just mysteriously opening now. Uh, what was that? Nothing good, Ash. Nothing good. Let's just walk down this hall and die. More than likely. What's this? Do you think someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. Looks like we have a letter here. Dear Dr. Swaffham. Swaffham? What a name. Thank you for your response. It's good to know that the tribe still feel an attachment to the land here. Even if we've had a few unfortunate problems, graffiti, people sleeping in the outbuildings. This is their ancestral home after all. I have made contact with the descendants of the tribe and intend to make a donation to their elder council. Healing the wounds of the past won't be easy, but I feel it is a step that is necessary. So... Looks like it was written oh, by Josh's mom. Guy yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, the bad karma goes back a long way. Hanging around the generator shed, I'm going to start keeping a record. You left your kid alone, you know, and had him invite all of his friends over. And there's some crazy guy out there. And things are going to start going south for me really soon in this game. <laughs> nope. You should have known better than that, Chris. Doors are locked. You can only go where they want you to go. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found and it, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just got out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. Well, there was that guy I told well, you about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. You hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. Josh! Josh! Coming! Hold on! Showed Ashley get knocked out, but 
Chris got it too. And then this dude's just gonna drag her away. Lighting things up for us, that's good. Right? <laughs> oh, hello, Doc. <laughs> oh, this place just keeps getting better and better. Got a clown mannequin over there. <sighs> you really remember what I said, don't you? What's up, Doc? It's been a while. You don't look pleased to see me. I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Like. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time, your answers are important. All right. I prefer Sam. I prefer Josh. Honestly, I do love. Jo I do like Josh. I really do. Um, pitting him against Sam right off the bat is kind of unfair because basically everybody loves Sam. So I'm gonna give it to Sam. Okay. <laughs> prefer Emily or you prefer Matt? Honestly, given that I've played this game multiple times, uh, knowing what I know, I honestly actually prefer Emily. I really do. So, that's probably, that's going against the grain there. Okay. Chris or Ashley? Well, if you have watched my previous parts, you'll know I'm not the biggest fan of Ashley. Uh, I think she's way too whiny. Way too whiny. And I think Chris is pretty... He's pretty funny and nerdy, so that's my type. So, Chris. Mike or Jessica? I'm honestly kind of surprised this is a lot closer. <laughs> um, honestly, I don't have that much problem with Jessica. But I do prefer Mike, I suppose. Uh, that was a little creepy. <laughs> Doc. Okay, well, Josh or Matt? I definitely prefer Josh over Matt. I'm sorry, Matt. I don't know why, but your doormat tendencies really get me. Ashley or Jessica? Well, y'all know I don't like Ashley, so Jessica... Tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? Dislike Matt, dislike Ashley. Ashley! <laughs> Don't like I her. guess you think she's getting what she deserves. You oh, think the way that. you feel about her justifies the terrible trauma she is about to go through. Now, why would you think that? Oh, She's too whiny, Doc. Up. Come back soon. We'll talk again. Perhaps in the meantime, you can try to figure that one out for yourself. Plus, she put my homeboy Chris in the friend zone. It's fucked up, Doc. I don't know why I'm explaining myself to you. Let me guess. We're going to see Hannah and Beth die? Again. Hold on! Yep. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. How many times these girls dead? Apparently he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. S. I. S. T. Sister? Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Which sister is it then? Ah! Run! Ah! Oh. oh my god. Ash! Come here. Oh, 
we're gonna see Jess. Maybe I know how to handle you too. Man, that's so funny. Oh, we're on chapter four now. Level seven hours till now. Oh fuck, what the fuck? Jessica! Let me go back and get my oh clue my I missed. Oh my god. They won't let me though. Jess! Alright, we got him save Jess, so this is gonna be a little difficult. Always gotta take the risky path. And hopefully not miss anything. Going short. Oh, I almost missed that. running that whole time and now he's just like I'm just gonna take these really slow and deliberately. Jessica!
gonna go the safe route because Jessica is not an option anymore right now. So we'll try to take it safely. Still has some pretty fast QTEs, so. Okay. Okay. Concerned about the fact that there's a guy chasing me with a gun. What the? Come on, come on, you piece of shit! I just gotta make it! There's a light right here. We're back to Chris, He's in the lodge, with the current objective to search for Ashley. Makes sense, considering, you know, we seen her get knocked out. Well, we didn't see her get knocked out, but we saw her on the ground, so. Anyway, we're going to close it for this part, and next time, we will search for Ashley. And hopefully, hopefully, I didn't screw up too bad in this part. Although I think I did. <laughs> but thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Have a good night.